just like that. And of course, there's, uh, there's, you know, I mean, I'll show you this. Uh, say I, uh, I want to copy this. So I'm going to put this right here. I want to copy right there. It's not going to do it. See, won't do it. Now, if I do this, watch. I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to hit the the Alt key. With the Alt key, holding down the Alt key and I right click, look, it just placed it right in the middle. So yeah, I'm, I'm showing you stuff. I mean, this if you, there's so many different ways to do it. It's just, it's, it's there if you need to know how to do it. But it's all based on the Shift and the Control, the Alt, uh, and the two mouse buttons. I mean, you can do everything right from there. It's just so simple. And a couple other keys. It's amazing. So we'll just undo that and undo that. How's that? So that's a, a way to copy and drag in normal mode. You can also uh, shorten these boundaries. Shorten or lengthen the boundary of each region uh, simply by, here's one way, you just, now you gotta remember there's a, an imaginary line in the middle of this region. So wherever the mouse tip is, if I press the Alt key right here, I'm holding down the Alt key and I uh, left click, see what happens? Now watch, I'm going to get try and get real close to that middle imaginary line. I think it's going to go left. See, it did. So, and once once you're there, you can just hold down and drag and, and it lengthens it. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's go into the, uh, you know, splitting. How do you split these guys? Well, there's a bunch of different ways to do that. And if you go right up here to the multi-track menu, here are all the different ways of doing it. And I, there's not a lot of menus here in uh, Saw Studio, but here is some menu choices with links to the actual that will perform the task. Um, I use the K, the R, and the U moves the most. So let's I'll show you those. and. Are they all all the other ones work the same you just have to know which one you want to use so I'll put the cursor right here and if I press the K key I just split it very common move splitting stuff now if I want to cut this section out I would press the I split it there and now I press the R key and it split it right there and deleted everything to the left of the cursor If I just want to remove this area all the way to the left, I just press the R button. I mean, with these couple moves I'm showing you, you can do almost everything. Just, you know, some people want to just press a button, have it do it, or, you know, it's amazing. You can just tweak. You, there's moves just to learn to do it your way. Okay, now, now, say I want to remove the right side here or, you know, shorten the boundary here. I can just... Now you gotta remember there's the the imaginary line. Keep that in mind. So with the U button, if I press the U button and the cursor is on the right side of that imaginary line, then all the region that is on the right side of the cursor is going to be removed. Watch. See it removed it. If I put it here now, the cursor's on this side of the imaginary line, I'm gonna press the U button and all this is gonna be removed. See? You gotta remember that imaginary line. That's the U key, another way of uh, altering the boundaries. You can edit to your heart's desire here, I'm telling you. All right. And just remember here, uh, you, you, you've got the all the other moves are right here, right side of MT, left side of MT, right side of at cursor, left, you know, I mean, you name it, it's there. You can do it. You can learn them right there. They do exactly what they say. Uh, and you do know the looping function here in uh, select an area. Put the cursor at the beginning, you can loop it. Let's uh, 
loop loop. Do it right here like this, so you can just see I'll do a fast one here. That's the beginning, and this is the end. And now I just press this, and it loops. See that? You can loop areas over and over and over. That's one way of lo the loop function. I love that. Okay, let's go into select mode here. We've done enough in normal mode. If you click up here on the select button, that turns on select mode and the mouse changes. And you can also use your S key on your keyboard. S key, S key. Learn the keyboard commands. You'll be flying around here faster. Now you can select regions just by left clicking on them. Just like that. The C key on selects them. And also uh, the right mouse click on selects them. You can also say I just want to unselect this one. I can hold down the shift key and right click and it will just unselect that one. See? Pretty cool, huh? Uh, let's see. You can also use the uh, Control A key. That's Control A selects everything on the multi track. If there was selections down on track 68, it would select them. And I just right click and it unselects all of them. Another way of selecting in uh, select mode and, and the let me just stop right there and let you know that the uh, the shift and control drag moves work here in select mode too. I can put the cursor here. The cursor is right here at the beginning of this region. If I press end, the end key, it selects every region in the hot track to the end. And that's a cool, cool thing because if I want to now nud bring these all up here, I just brought them all up to there. Very cool. If I want to, if I want to uh, move all these selections down one track and then right click and copy them, I can do that too. So in select mode, you you can work with multiple regions at one time. I, that's uh, that's when you want to use select mode like that, multiples or just one. But you have the nudge feature too. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, another way, uh, let me show you this. Watch, I'm going to press the home button. Nothing happens. It doesn't move. If I go down here and try and, I'm left clicking trying to drag and, and get a marked area, it doesn't, that doesn't work. Well, I, if I want to get home here, I can, right in this area here, I can click and it will go home. And another thing here, watch, I'm going to double click and the cursor doesn't come to the, the mouse pointer. If I hold down the shift and control key, it will. And I can drag around here and move the cursor around. It sticks with the mouse uh, key. If I'm holding down the shift and the control keys, you still can't drag a marked area. But you can select just by, uh, you can, I'm holding down the mouse and and dragging like that. See? Just like that. Very easy to drag like that or uh, of course you can select individuals. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything.